Kathleen Jardine is a 57-year-old Arizona resident who teaches at a high school about 30 miles, 35 miles outside of Phoenix. And she was so drunk on Wednesday that she decided to take a cab and not drive to work. Sure you want to do that. Sure you want to do that, Kathleen. Take a couple deep breaths. Consider picking up that phone, making a call. <clears throat> I'm sick. I can't make it. Drunk off her ass. She's like, I got to get to work. Give me, give me a fucking cab. I, lo I love how she's, she thinks she's being responsible. I am fucking plastered. Put me in a room with kids. Cabby. <laughs> so she showed up, immediately started yelling at her students. They all knew she was hammered. Like, literally every kid was like, okay, what the fuck is up with Miss Jardine here? This, uh, she appears to be super plastered. So somehow one of the kids went to security, and security walks in the room, and Kathleen's like, yeah, I'm drunk. What's up? Howl at me. <laughs> and the student was like, what? So they escort her out and come to find out she was also arrested for DUI, for a DUI, the day before this incident. And then they went into her classroom and found, not even really hiding because the shit is so big, a massive jug of vodka, which is like half empty, a bottle of wine, which is empty, and orange juice. And when they went to her about it, they're like, you had, f like, a bar in your classroom. What, what's going on? She's like, yeah, that's, uh, that's my alcohol, and I drink it during class. <laughs> All right, man. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Kathleen, you need help, sweetheart. <laughs> you need help. You guys know me. I'm as pro uh, drug use, alcohol. Well, alcohol is a drug, so I repeat myself. As anybody. I'm very pro drug use, substance use, but I I'm in favor of moderation. And here's the reality. The overwhelming majority of people in society, probably in all societies across the world, right? They can handle moderation. They can handle moderation. They can handle, you know, whether it's drinking alcohol or smoking weed or uh, taking pills, doing ecstasy, taking psychedelics, doing opium as some places still do. Like... They can do it and still live a decent, normal life and function fine. But then there are some people, a tiny percentage, that are super addicts where they actually have a mental pr uh, issue and a psychological disorder where they, can't, they, they just can't stop. Like, they start drinking. Oh, I'll drink until class. Where's my vodka in class? Fuck, I hate these kids. Let me yell at them. What's happening? I got a DUI yesterday. How am I a teacher? Who hired me? And it's like, oh, right, yeah. See, those are the people who they need. They don't, shouldn't be in jail at all. What, they should be in treatment, right? That's a, that's a medical issue. But also, let's keep it real. They fuck it up for the rest of us. Because I know I can moderate. Can you moderate? You could probably moderate. You can get your ass to work. You don't need to drink 24-7. You could only drink three, four nights a week at night, right? Or whatever drug you happen to be into. And that's what's so annoying is that we see people like this. And I, look, I have so much sympathy because it's like you're a goofball and you need help. You really do. Like, I want you to get psychological help and I want you to get... Uh, treatment, I want you to get medical help, but at the same time, I want policymakers not to focus on people like her, and to focus on the majority, and do policies that we actually want, like, I don't know, substance freedom? That crazy idea.